Long time ago, a dragon had his eyelashes go deep in the ground, it came out as beautiful plants that could heal humans, so they used it to make magical tea. Those who took care of the dragon were called the White Wizard. The dragon then made a seal and gave it to the wizard he trusted the most, the master, his daughter and the princess. This tea spread across the world from commerce but some wizard got greedy, the Black Wizards. They were led by a witch who led the army to take the dragon's cave. They stopped trimming the dragon's eyelashes, it felt heavy and the dragon felt into a deep sleep. The white wizard then fought back to free the dragon but the black wizard were too powerful. The evil forces captured the master and the princess. We are then shown General James Hook giving some food to the master and other prisoners, kept in an English prison. A white pigeon then comes in with a message. The prisoners read it and realize its correspond letter from an inventor named Jonathan who go writes to his lover Miss Dudley. He describes how he came across a strange beast during his trip to Russia to show his new detailed map. Unfortunately when arrived he realized the real King Peter isn't there and a commander throws him into a prison. After reading it, the prisoners thinks it's their only way out, so they write and send the pigeon to Miss Dudley. They write to her that they are the real King Peter. Meanwhile the commander who sent Jonathan in prison for a lesson, decides to free him the next day. But Jonathan requests another prisoner he took pity on to come with him. So they free that other prison which name is Chang. Chang thanks Jonathan and Jonathan asks him to be his assistant. They then get on the way. Later that day, they get ambushed by some robbers. They realize who of the creatures he encountered sneaked into Jonathan's luggage. Chang then goes all out and take down all the soldiers with the help of the creature. After it, Jonathan is amazed by the creature and takes it inside the carriage. Jonathan then sends another pigeon to Miss Dudley, informing her there is a conspiracy in Russia, the real King Peter never came back from his trip. At this moment, Miss Dudley arrives to the English prison to speak to James. She tells him she heard that one of his prisoners is the real King Peter who has gone missing. But James replies there is no king here, but definitely a Russian spy whose name is also Peter. He takes her to talk to him. She then enters the room where the master and the other two prisoners are. The one who claims to be Peter speaks with her, but when master hears that Jonathan is traveling with someone named Cheng Lang, he informs them he is actually a girl, she is his daughter. At this moment, the third prison passes and James takes Miss Dudley out. The master and Peter use this opportunity to break free from the chains. They run through the prison but James laughs at them saying no one has ever escaped this prison in 500 years. Jonathan and the master then open many cell doors so the whole place gets filled with other prisoners trying to escape. Before leaving, the master takes back the dragon seal given by the dragon. Peter then escape and steals Miss Dudley's carriage. On the other side, the master is still inside and James decides to fight him one on one. Both extremely skilled fighters then get into an impressive fight and master wins. Meanwhile some guards catch up to Peter and try to get him out of the carriage. But he successfully escapes them all. He then decides to get on the road. Miss Dudley wants to come with him. But he ignores her. Peter pretends to be one of the ship workers and sneaks into a ship. But Miss Dudley uses the tactic of luring one of the ship men in for a good time, she then knocks him out and disguises as him to board the ship. At the same time, James locks Master back in the prison even though Master won. We are then shown Jonathan on his journey accompanied by Chang. On the ship, because of a rat, Miss Dudley gets scared, revealing her true self. So Peter decides to help her. A storms then takes place and the entire ship is headed to the dangerous island's lava, where many ships perished. Peter take control of the ship and successfully gets everyone out of the storm and the dangerous island safely. Everyone thanks him, he becomes the captain and finally removes his iron mask. Jonathan and Cheng of the other end are continuing their journey, they are now in the desert. They reach the Great Wall of China. Then, finally their destination, the known port. Chang realizes this is also where the dragon cave was. She notices her people are suffering, being slaves beaten by guards. She has to do something, saying to herself she is the true princess. While Jonathan falls asleep, she decides to infiltrate the port. There, she witnesses the soldiers taking the leaves for the magical tea from the villagers. Some try to resist, 
but witches warriors use their magic to catch them and the soldiers continue to rob the poor villagers. A rebellion then takes place but the witches warriors are too powerful. Chang uses this moment to take the one in charge Zhang aside by force. She condemns him for working for the witch, as he uses to be a white wizard. He recognizes the princess, but the witch's warrior create a powerful sound that affects everyone so Zhang escape. Yu who was leading the rebellion recognizes the princess and fights her. At this moment, Jonathan wakes up and realizes his carriage has been carried by Chinese soldiers. While Zhang arrives to the witch, he tells her he may have seen the princess. The witch is actually using her powers to take the appearance of the princess Chang so everyone believes they are still ruled by Chang. Peter then enters and addresses the fake princess. He came all the way here to see the legendary dragon. He asks if she is the legendary princess of the white wizard and keeper of the healing tea. She responds that yes, Jonathan then adds that his assistant Chang resembles her. The fake princess is worried. Meanwhile Chang reveals to Yu that the witch is impersonating her. The creature then comes and gives Chang a telescope, she realizes Jonathan is in danger. She uses the creature to inform him secretly. Yu then tells Chang that anyone who comes in this village can't escape, it becomes a prison. The next day, Peter and Miss Dudley arrive at the port. Soldiers let them in after hearing they want to buy all the tea in the village. Chang immediately attacks him after realizing he has the dragon seal given to Master. She believes Peter did something to her father. Miss Dudley comes and Chang tells her she was saved by her lover Jonathan. At this moment, Jonathan is being captured by the witch. She tells him she is waiting for the seal of the dragon to be able to fully control the dragon and rule the world. She believes if Chang finds out she is about to execute him, she will bring her the seal herself. Meanwhile Yu captures Peter and Miss Dudley questions them all of what they know. Peter tells Chang he is a friend of her father, they were in prison together. Peter then gives her the dragon seal. The whole team then plans their infiltration of the palace. Chang, Peter, Yu, Miss Dudley and all the rebels are all ready to take down the witch. The infiltration then begins. Workers bring umbrellas which will serve a different purpose later. Some get in by water. Peter then goes to talk to Witch pretending to have the dragon seal. At this time, the execution of Jonathan begins with the dragon ready to finish him. Miss Dudley realizes it's her lover and husband. The guards then arrest her and make her join him. Meanwhile Chang and other men arrive at the dragon cave by waters. They come by the dragon and realizes it's a fake dragon, as the witch can't control the dragon without the seal. They decide to take it down but guards appear and capture them. The fake dragon then begins the execution of Jonathan and Miss Dudley. The guards then are able to escape and stop the execution on time. They free them and Jonathan is shocked to see his wife. The workers then take their umbrellas and attack the palace from the sky. An intense fight begins all over. The witch's warrior decide to join and they are literally finishing the intruders one by one. Meanwhile the witch makes Peter pass out, searches him and doesn't have the dragon seal. At this moment, Chang goes deeper in the cave and finds the dragon in chains. She puts the dragon seal in place and a uniform shows up. While at the entrance, the intruders find out the witch's warrior's weakness, they are not magic but robots with electricity powered. They finish those robots when they run out of electricity. After the seal being put in place, the dragon starts waking up, as well as Master who helps at distance from his prison. He controls the dragon that breaks free of all his chains. The witch then decide to escape from the palace on her balloon. But right at this moment, the dragon breaks from the cave with Chang riding on it. It goes against the witch. Everyone fighting across the palace stops while witnessing the dragon. Chaney them takes he witch on a one-on-one -on -one fight. The princess fights the fair princess. During the fight, the two right women of the witch come to fight the princess also disguised as the princess. So now four princesses are fighting. One of the fake princesses are able to get the seal off Chang. The witch jumps and grabs it. Now that she has it, she betrays her two servants and throw them off the cliff. Peter, Jonathan, Miss Dudley and other men enter. No one knows who is the real princess. The creature arrives and recognizes the real princess. After witnessing that, the witch stabs Jonathan and reveals herself to everyone. 
Using the seal, she tries to control the dragon but the creature steals it from her but she throws a weapon at it. The seal then falls and both, Chang and the witch jump to grab it. The witch grab the seal, while Chang grabs the wounded creature. While falling, the witch orders the dragon to save her, but he refuses so she falls in the river. Later, Jonathan realizes the witch's weapon went into a photo of Miss Dudley instead of reaching him. Peter comes back being the king of Russia and orders James to release his friend the master. James comes to master to let him know he is free. The master tells him James was his best opponent. When hearing the dragon is free, the master breaks his chains and invites James to China to show him. We are then shown that the seal is lost deep in the ocean. Chang comes back being the princess. The movie ends with the master telling kids that it wasn't the seal that gave the power to the dragon, but love. James is right next to him and the master shows him that the dragon is everywhere around.